I answered a ad in the newspaper. It said, wanted, construction laborer must have a driver's license. So I qualified. So I drove, it told me the address, I went out to this guy's house and he didn't have a driver's license, he was a bricklayer. So I was his chauffeur slash laborer. He was, didn't have a driver's license because he was a drunk. Imagine that. So you push a wheelbarrow, you get bored. You know, they make fun of you. I had a ponytail, so he was all redneck bricklayers making fun of you. So I'd get caught up, I'd get the scaffold stocked out with brick and mortar, and I'd jump up on the scaffold and learn how to spread mortar. Then I learned how to lay brick. And then I went back to, then I met her, Shelly, my wife, 48 years ago this month. So I went back to school. Uh, I was going to be a, I was, my major was secondary education and I was to be a woodshop teacher. So I said, man, I don't believe I can handle, handle this. So I left college again and I went to work for a general contractor. I was his masonry foreman. Did that for about a year. I resigned from him, bought a red Ford pickup truck, two wheelbarrows and a mixer, and went hunting work in the residential market. So I bricked houses for five years. First, My first job, I got paid $70 to lay a thousand brick and 50 cents a block. So every, a thousand brick is two cubes, okay, 500 a piece. So every time I laid two cubes of brick, I got $70. That was in 1978. So after several years of bricking houses, I got kind of bored with it and got in, I heard about uh, the Masonry Association, North Carolina Masonry Contractors Association. So locally, I went to a couple of meetings and found out there was conventions and there was a state association and. It 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 got my it got my attention. So my fir our first convention was uh, 1983 in Raleigh, North Carolina, and we didn't know anybody. Uh, our first board meeting we went to, we we couldn't even afford suitcases. We walked in the hotel with our brown paper bags full of clothes and toothbrushes, and we went to the stairwell on the other end of the hotel so nobody would see us so one thing led to another we got to know people and got involved in the association locally statewide uh, 1987 I was my first term as president of North Carolina Masonry Contractors Association in my second term I can forget when that was five or six years ago I did two terms as president then I got involved in MCAA um, now I'm here. One of my first best phone calls was from a GC. It was Saturday afternoon uh, in our little house we built. I had been chasing a job for several months. I mean, I'd call a guy every other week. And finally, he says, I'm sorry, you, you're, you're not low. You know, you've done, your, you've done your homework. You've called me, you've called me. But so Saturday afternoon, I had just stirred a refreshment. It was about 4.35 o'clock, and it was this general contractor call. He says, I just want to let you know that you're gonna, we want you to do the job. And it was my first big job, and I, I agreed to the schedule. That's how we got the job. Uh, that was one of my favorite phone calls in the industry. Uh, we're kind of, we're recognized as we got a pretty good reputation. We also recognize as uh, we're not cheap, so we don't get a lot of stuff. We, you know, we bid. Uh, we we've, we've done a lot of uh, done a lot of work at Duke University, uh, University of North Carolina, NC State, ECE. We build a lot of schools. One of my biggest moments is this 
there was five schools going to be built in Myrtle Beach. And uh, our, my general says, uh, how, many, how many of those do you want? I said, I want them all. Simultaneous construction, five schools. So I walk into my son's office. I said, uh, we're fixing to build five schools simultaneous. He said, are you crazy? I said, no, what's the problem? He said, nothing. So we did the five schools simultaneously. So that was, that was fun. It was a lot of fun. It was challenging, but it's uh, satisfaction is what it was. Bas basically no problems. But I mean, I could sit here for an hour. If I had a list, I could t give you an hour's worth, but those are some of the, the goodies. I've always felt like you have to give something back. And I felt like I've done that. Highlight of my career. <laughs>